Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the aerosol system, and the system, the panel that we're going to use is the VES VES fire detection system, and it's most likely like the ones that we've spoken about, we've talked about, and this is how this is, and this is. I will just get closer so you're going to see the connections. Mainly, how the aerosol works is what we are going to explain and the components of it that is what we're going to talk about so for the power supply we have a battery 12 volt 7 ah with a power supply 240 volts that is coming from an ac supply okay and from here we're going to see the terminations that we've made so mainly we have a 24 volt auxiliary power supply that is supplying the sequential actuators then from here we can see the NAC1 the NAC1 is connected to the bell which I'm going to show you then we have the zone the NAC2 it's not connected yet because we don't need it uh, we have the zone 1 zone 2 which is connected to the smoke detector zone 3 we don't need so there is an end of line resistor that has been placed there NAC3 is the lights that are going to come outside the horn strobe lights and the do not enter lights and here we have the first stage alarm that is the interface that is being connected to the fire alarm systems okay so anytime there is a fire alarm and uh, whenever there is an alarm here the first stage alarm is going to be it's going to be sent by the first stage signal to the fire alarm panel likewise the second stage the mode select is not connected the manual release is the mrs or the manual release station or the manual pull station and the release switch is when we would want to connect to a we want to connect to a discharge pressure switch dps discharge pressure switch that's when we connect to the release switch okay then we have the extinguishing that is where we're going to connect the extinguishing cable that is the 24 volt supply after the countdown is completed okay we have the low pressure switch connection we have the extract we have trouble relay to connect the trouble and here we have a local fire this local fire we can program it to a discharge um, release okay whenever it's released whenever the system is discharged the signal we can just program it there okay the last time in my video somebody was asking about that and I was explaining like that right so this is it and the fire relay local fire that is what we can also connect um, an auxiliary cable in or we can connect a fire signal also for let's see another thing but for here we've connected to the, to, to the BMS okay and these are the keys which is the panel is on normal condition everything is connected so if you want more of how it operates and how it is I will just leave a link to the other video that I made on this but here I would want to show you something here that's why I'm just doing this video okay so let's go to. now these are the generators that we're gonna use that are protecting the room it's a very big room it's a very big electrical low voltage room okay and we have 10 aerosols 5700 and with that also we have others also in the trenches okay there is trench and by calculation you can see from there okay there is another generator that is there that is so that is what is happening here from here all up to these places okay all these trenches we have generators that is being installed and the remote indicator here remote indicator here also shows that there are detectors that are below inside the trench also as well so that is it and these are the generators so how are these generators going to work there is something we call sequential actuator that I'm going to show you okay 
these are the sequential actuators one two three four five six there are six sequential actuators which are being connected to the panel and these sequential actuators are connected directly also to the generators also as well so in the previous videos i spoke about this but this is like up to 12 12 sequence 12 generators okay so how it's going to be activated on the first zone whenever you activate a heat detector or a smoke detector here it's going to directly ring that bell the bell that is here okay then the bell is also connected to the evacuate lights so the evacuate light will also light up on the first alarm then on the second stage whenever you activate the next detector it's going to it's going to activate the bell as i showed you this evacuate light then outside there is the horn strobe that is going to be activated only the horn is going to be activated so within that 30 seconds there is 30 seconds and when somebody is inside the person can just press this about switch to just hold and reset with this one we've made the countdown when you press this one it will be held in only 10 seconds it presses and holds on 10 seconds then after you release this it will start from 10 9 8 7 6 up to 1 then it releases so within that 10 seconds everyone has to evacuate the room so that the sequential actuators can just activate and in the previous video that i showed you how the sequential actuators work i'm going to link the video to this one so you're going to know how it's going to work so within the two seconds interval all the sequential all the generators are going to be released then it's going to protect the systems that are here so that is basically the functions of this aerosol